<sighs> hello, hello. So today we're going to be uh, talking, you guys. Um, Orbits in particular, how are you guys doing? Um, I, I know my voice sounds kind of weird because I, I had the, the flu. Um, and so I was on the precipice of death, but I, I came back uh, just to make this video. Um, there's been some big stuff happening, I think, in the K-pop realm, particularly with Luna. Um, was it just yesterday? Uh, there was a big announcement from Blockberry Creative uh, saying that they were expelling Chu from the group. Um, and I don't know, it feels like not a complete shock, right? Because she's been pretty absent with the world tour, with uh, the Luminous, the, the Japanese comeback. Um, so I expected some sort of statement like this, but um, nothing like what they actually released. Uh, so I figured um, we can look at it together, you guys. Uh, and the, let's just read it together and uh, talk about the whole situation. So this is the statement from Blockberry Creative. Uh, the company is announcing that it has determined to expel and remove the company-managed artist True, birth name Kim ji from the membership of Luna Effective today, November 25th, 2022. That was yesterday. Many stories have circulated this year regarding Luna's True, but the company and Luna members have gone through this time without expressing any perspective on the matter in order to avoid causing problems out of concern for the group's development and the worry of fans. Okay, um, this was a heartfelt expression of the Luna members' affection towards the team and care towards the fans, intending to do their best to show only the good appearances through performance and content, rather than speak to what is true or not. However, recently, there have been reports of abuse of power, including verbal abuse by Chu towards company staff. Investigation has confirmed the veracity of these reports. Company leadership is currently apologizing and offering cons consolation to the staff and the company has decided to take responsibility by expelling Chu from Luna. Um, so I thought that the message so far, like the first one to three paragraphs was fine it was absolutely fine it's nice and neutral right it's a great uh press release and then the fourth paragraph i can't believe the twist and turn that they put in here i was absolutely shocked to read the rest of the statement because i can't believe like a company put out this statement like multiple people will have to review uh press release um, just because it's such a representation of your company and it's definitely gonna have eyes on it so to think that they really like multiple multiple people read this and we're just like yeah this is okay to put out is shocking to me let's keep going uh, firstly the company would like to formally apologize to the staff who have suffered great hurt from this matter will put forth its best efforts so that they are able to focus on recovery and treatment and will do everything in its power to help them return to normal routine. To the fans who have loved and supported Luna, we would like to apologize and with deep contrition seek your forgiveness for the fact that not all 12 were able to stay together through the end. Going forward, the company and Luna will return to a humble mindset and do our best so that nothing like this may ever happen again. The Luna members have never worked solely for their personal profit or gain and because they know the gratitude owed to the fans have helped them get to today. They have done nothing that would burden the team. We will complete the race and be sure to repay the love of all who cheer for Luna. This is like insanely backhanded compliment. It really feels like they're trying to keep the rest of the Luna members in line. It does feel like a warning because this this uh, paragraph in particular, it just implies that Chu only worked for personal profit or gain um, and has no gratitude for the fans that got her to where she is today, which is absolutely ridiculous. And also the fact that you're the company that is supposed to pay your workers and you're saying that they've never worked for personal profit or gain. 
any any worker should be working for personal profit and gain. Come on, it's not. Oh God. Ugh. Okay. In addition, we and the Luna members will act grateful gratefully with all respect towards all our staff and not forget our sense of gratitude. We will strive to repay the sacrifices and dedication of our fans and staff that such an incident will never happen again. We once again bow our heads and apologize to the staff and the fans for causing you trouble due to this situation. So uh, essentially they've made a statement saying that Chu is no longer going to be in Luna okay that's that's what i got and then they inserted they inserted this big accusation in the middle of the statement i think true leaving luna is big enough of news that it can be contained in this one statement and then the other thing could be a separate statement um but the need to actually the fourth paragraph onwards is just absolutely shocking. I can't believe it's real. Um, to me, it seems like very malicious intent to hurt Chu's image. Um, I think that's a really big thing with her image is that she's a very fun and approachable and likable person. And so inserting that narrative that like actually she's abusive of her power and doesn't respect the staff um it would definitely dampen i think the public's overall perception of her as a person even if it is true i think inserting it in the midst of this your breakup letter and this announcement that she's no longer going to be with the company is very shady um and it's just unprofessional in all sorts of ways even the phrasing i know this is a translation but um i've seen some criticism over the phrasing that they've used in the statement and i honestly i'm just super devastated for both luna and true to have to deal with a company like this it's absolutely horrific this is something that they've put out in public knowing that people will see it just thinking about how they're dealing with things behind the curtain is horrifying to me. If this is how unprofessional they are in a supposedly professional platform. Oh, God. Anyways. And of course, people have jumped to defend Chu, including the writer for Chu Can Do It, which is her YouTube series. This is a caption from her Instagram story. Power abuse, that is really funny. Even when it was tiring for Jiwoo, she was someone who worried in case the staff wouldn't get paid. Once I got frustrated and said, hey Jiwoo, worry about yourself first. And she'd say that having gone through all of this herself and knowing how hard it is, she couldn't bear seeing it. Everyone knows that she didn't have proper care. Regardless, Jiwoo will be fine since she treats others so well. It's just, just so devastating. I remember reading this and then crying. <laughs> There's been multiple threads of people coming out, people who've worked with Chu with evidence that she's nothing like what they described. I really don't understand what the purpose was. I suppose it is to tarnish her reputation, but without evidence and with this much like outpour of people backing her up, they just seem like clowns in in comparison and i don't know like i i i feel like i've encountered a bunch of pretty shady k-pop companies um and i'm pretty open about criticizing them like rbw and cube entertainment but this is the first time i'm really seeing blockberry creatives in action in terms of like dealing with a big situation and it's uh, pretty despicable it's pretty despicable um, and to think that like Luna is under this company, it stresses me out, you guys, I know. I think we need some sort of like orbit support group. So I, I this video and the space, the comment section, um, we'll just say is orbit support group. If you guys have any thoughts about the situation, leave a comment, um, you know, you're free to discuss it. Uh, moving forward to, um, <sighs> God. it's gonna be so difficult it's gonna be weird right but Chu's been 
absent for a lot of Luna's schedules recently, so I suppose they were really just weaning, weaning us off. But I just don't feel comfortable supporting the company, knowing that they're capable of malicious acts like that. Um, after reading that statement, it just really made me lose respect uh, from BlockBerry Creative at all. Um, maybe, you know, there's some sort of logical reasoning as to why they've made a statement like that and put it out in public. Um, I'd love to know, um, and I'm sure there's going to be more uh, pieces in the story moving forward. It's definitely going to be ongoing. It feels like it's just the beginning, um, and all we can do is really like support too, right? Um, I I know we really don't know these idols since we're only seeing like a particular side of them, but I like to believe the people that are coming forward, the people that have worked with her, not a single person has said a bad thing um, or has agreed with Blockberry's statement, which to me says a lot. It, it says more than their statement. Um, and it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing to put out something like that and just to be refuted multiple times by many people in the industry. So, um, yeah. Uh, I uninstalled Superstar Luna. I'm not playing it anymore. Uh, let me know what you guys think. If you want a hug, um, it's a virtual hug. I don't even know what this video is going to look like, but I did want to just carve out a space to talk about this because, uh, you know, a portion of my subscribers are Orbits and you guys have, we've been together for like a year now or more than a year so i don't know it feels weird but uh we'll see what happens um but yeah in terms of supporting true subscribe to true can do it uh follow true on instagram her personal instagram send her some nice supportive messages and fuck blockberry creative uh, anyways that is it for this video thank you guys so much for watching definitely let me know in the comments um if there's anything in the story uh, as it's still moving i know if there's any gaps um that needs to be filled in terms of information if you guys have any idea on how to like support you and what to do moving forward i think i feel like a confused orbit right now i i don't really know how to move forward with this but yeah, we're, we're going to be moving forward together. I always want to support you and, of course, the Luna girls without Blockberry Creative. Um, but yeah, anyways, that is it for this reaction. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you haven't checked out my other reactions yet, feel free to do so. They're all in my channel. Also, check out Patreon. That's where I post live stage performance reactions, Japanese music videos. Those are free. And there's also exclusive content over there weekly. Right now, we're reacting to Chu Can Do It. Uh, we've got about 50 episodes of you can do it so if you want to watch along have a look uh, other than that i hope you guys are having a nice day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye this the chew y'all she free the chew.